How are you guys? Welcome back to Wargame in China, the free channel where I platform my understandings of the war of resistance against Japanese aggression in Japan from nine in China from 1931 to 1945. Uh, well, look at what we're looking at today. We're looking at the a 172nd Duotain 510C. Now. It's a for me. It's one of the prettiest planes of the interwar of the interwar period. It's got everything I love. It's a mono. It's a monoplane open cockpit fighter, and um, it's only a recent acquisition. And uh, I picked it up recently. I just couldn't resist. I've always wanted one for my Chinese. To represent the uh, independent French volunteer squadrons, and um, I finally found one. Now, the kit was made by this company, and uh, it was a bit. Um, it was a bit pricey. I was hoping to find the old Hello one for maybe, you know, 20 bucks. But uh, I ended up, this was the only one I could get. And it had the Chinese marking, so I thought, like, oh, well, I'll pay, the, I'll pay them what they want for it. Yeah, it wasn't a joy to build. Uh, the instructions are a bit vague, and um, the part fit is, is not easy either. Um, but if you're a good modeler, you'll get a good kit. Um, I'm not, so I got a serviceable kit for wargaming standards, and um, you know, for, I made this for the wargamer, so the area on the back I, I didn't put on because that'd be the first thing snapped off in a wargame. You know, you keep your things to a minimal detail for a wargaming model. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, D510. Well, it was made by the Duoatain Aircraft Company, which was established in Toulouse, France in 1922. And the sole purpose of Duomotain was to manufacture all metal aircraft. And they'd been at it a good 10 years, had a few design successes when they had their greatest success, which was so far, which was the D510, which first flew in late 32. Um, by 34, it was in 1934, it was in production and it was in service with uh, Turkey, Lithuania, the Soviet Union, Japan bought a couple, China bought a couple. It was a good seller, and all up between uh, 1934 and 1939, they made it 336 of them. Now, the ones that, chi that China bought arrived in China in June 1938 with the two French volunteer squadrons, the 41st and the 42nd independent French volunteer squadrons. Now, um, it's hard to um, find much to chew on when I looked up the uh, independent squadron, the French volunteer squadrons, because um, there's not much written. Um, they didn't, they were only in China for six months before they were disbanded. You see, the problem was that um, even though the Duomotain was a fantastic aircraft when it got into production in 1934 with a speed of uh, 250 miles an hour, uh, two um, medium machine guns made in pods under the wings and a 20 millimeter Hispano Suiza cannon firing out the nose, powered by a 12 cylinder Hispano engine. This aircraft was a winner on every level and I feel that it was there when the French um, look the French volunteer squadron was was um, was a direct effort by France just like the Soviet Union had done to uh, bolster her support to China without enraging Japan and at the same time maybe um, drumming up some ex export sales for the D510 fighter so um, the French arrived in um, the fr two French squadrons arrived in China in Yunnan at Kunming in uh, June 38 
and between June and October 1938, they were engaged mainly fighting, um, trying to intercept Japanese bomber formations over the city of Chengdu. Now, um, they had a hard time with this because um, the opponents that the D-510 would meet in the sky would be the Japanese A-5, which came into service in December 37, and um, the A-5 was just superior in every way and performance to the D-510. That added to the fact that the bomber that the A-5 was escorting, the G-3, G-3M, flew higher and faster than the, the world in time was capable of. Which meant that for the six months that the French, two French squadrons were operating these, um, they did intercept many um, bomber formations, but failed to read, but failed to make a combat kill, and sustained um, losses in aircraft and one pilot killed. Um, by the time, by by. Uh, Early '39, they had been passed to the uh, the remaining Duotines had been passed to the uh, 14th Fighter Squadron and the 17th Fighter Squadron. Now the 14th Fighter Squadron was based in Yunnan, and that is an international volunteer squadron of mercenaries, and that was made up of um, Americans, Australians and uh, French pilots that had remained after the uh, French volunteer squadrons had broken up. Now, um, the Duo Time was also in service with the 17th Squadron over Wuhan which, and Sichuan province of Chongqing. And uh, here, the aircraft began to... Um, they began to, to, to earn their steeds. Um, they were more successful. Now we can't say that the aircraft change or the pilots or the or the, or the, the skill of the pilots manning them changed. What had happened is that the air, Chinese air defence system had improved. So when these part when the French part volunteer squadrons were operating these planes and trying to intercept Chinese bomb formations, they were taking off from the airfields far too late to actually make the interception, and then were falling prey to A5s who were attacking them from height. So um, the fact that uh, any duo times survived these, these conditions is indeed a testament to the French pilots and the plane itself. However, when we, when we get to Chongqing and the 14th, in, uh, the 14th Volunteer Squadron in, in Kunming, what we see is the Chinese air defense system has improved. So the duo times are actually getting time to get to altitude and intercept in the dive. Uh, they ended up accepting in the dive or as Captain Shen of the 17th Squadron discovers um, and leads the way with this tactic is the head-on charge against the BM GM3 using his Spano Suiza Auto Cannon head-on attack. Uh, this is very effective but um, it also causes a lot of casualties among the Duo Time crews. Uh, the Duo Time would be out of service by 1931 because um, none left or un what were left were unserviceable but it certainly um, they gave a decent enough account of itself and um, if you think that this this plane was still in service in 1940 with the French Air Force in use against the Luftwaffe um, we can see that this, the service life of this plane was just probably a bit too long than, than, than was good for um, so as I said, 336 of these were built between 1934 and 1939, and only 24 of them served with the Chinese. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Click like, press subscribe. See ya.